Hey guys, in this video we are going to be using Pythagorean Theorem to solve for a missing side of a right triangle. So that side could be the hypotenuse or that side could be a leg. So recall that the Pythagorean Theorem formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs and the two legs, a and b, are the sides of the right triangle that form the right angle. So A and B intersect at 90 degrees. And then C is the hypotenuse, and that's the longest side of the right triangle. And it's also gonna be the side that is across from the, directly across from the right angle. So we're gonna look at the steps. For the, the steps for this process are to write the formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Substitute the numbers or the values into the formula and the correct, with the correct variables. So A and B are the legs and C is the hypotenuse. Solve for the missing side using inverse operations and use the and remember that the hypotenuse must be the longest side. So example number one, we're gonna calculate the missing length of the hypotenuse. And this problem tells you to solve for hypotenuse, but remember, the hypotenuse is always the side that is opposite the right angle. So we're gonna write our formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're gonna substitute the values into the formula. So nine and 12 are a and b, and those could be swapped, a and b can be swapped, but c has to be the hypotenuse value. So nine squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. Square the nine, which gives you 81. Square the 12, which is 144, equals c squared. 81 plus 144 is 225. And then the final step, this is your inverse operation. Take the square root to unsquare c squared to give you c equals 15. And that would be the length of the longest side of the right triangle. So keep in mind that value has to be, the hypotenuse has to be the longest, the largest number, the longest side. All right, example number two, calculate the missing length of the leg. So this one, we're solving for a leg. If we locate that right angle and draw the a line to the opposite side, that side has to be the hypotenuse. So 24 will have to be substituted in for C. Eight can be subbed in for A and we can solve for B. So let's write our formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A is going to be 8 squared. We don't know what B is, so we're going to leave B squared there. And then 24 squared. Let's go ahead and square the numbers we know. So 8 squared is 64 plus, we don't know B squared. Then 24 squared is 576. Now we're going to use inverse operations to isolate B squared. So let's subtract 64 from both sides of the equation. So we are going to get that b squared is equal to 512. And then finally, we take the square root of both sides of the equation, and we are going to get that b is equal to 22.6. Let's just double check that. That value cannot be greater than the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 24, so we have calculated this correctly.